Hi everybody, this is the fifth installment of this little series that I started a while back where I talk about 10 great products from 10 different brands and they are all under $10. So we're gonna get into that right now because I wanna show you the goodies that I have, but a special welcome to you if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you do decide to subscribe. If you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit the little bell icon and next to the subscribe button. And everyone, if you wouldn't mind taking just a second and giving me a thumbs up, it does help my video. Now that being said, we're going to get into these goodies that are under $10 from 10 different brands. So most of the things that you're gonna see in here today, I did try to wear as much as I possibly could. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist eye pencil in emerald. I do have this on my bottom lash line today. This is such a creamy pencil and yet it lasts for such a long time and it's just a really nice eyeliner. It's easy to smudge out if you smudge it out before it gets dried down and then it just really stays really well and that's what I like about it. And the creaminess of it doesn't tug on your eyes at all. The color is very vibrant. They don't have a ton of colors out right yet but I I think that this formula has really caught on. It's very budge proof. You can put it in your water line and have it for at least two to three hours. We have to kind of be realistic about what we put in our water line. It will, you know, eventually come off during the day and you're gonna have to reapply if you want to do that. But this pencil is such a good pencil and I really love this emerald color too. I actually haven't tried the other colors, but this emerald kind of was one that I didn't have in my collection yet. So I wanted to try it. So yes, that is definitely one that I love. Now the next product is from Milani and it is their baked blushes. And I have four of these because I absolutely love these blushes. They do give a, a slight sheen when you put them on, which is so pretty. This uh, first one is Berry Amore. And I'm just going to swatch these quickly for you. Berry Amore is kind of along the lines of a coral color, kind of a yeah, I would say it's more of a corally pink color. Not too coral though, that if you're cool toned like me, you couldn't wear it. And then this one is uh, Sunset Passion. And I love this one too. It has that same kind of coral, a little bit more on the peach side than that last one did. So it's got a little bit more brightness to it than the Berry Amore. So you're looking at just a little bit more along the lines of it being warm toned as far as that goes. It's really nice to wear with a neutral look and if you wanna do a light peach on your lips. This one is Dolce Pink. This is actually my favorite because it has such a brightness to it and it just on the cheeks it just looks so pretty they're a very soft formula they're very pigmented but that soft sheen is what is really lovely about them and they just all are just so nice this last one is petal primavera this is one of the ones that they came out with quite recently um i think maybe the beginning of last year or so and this one is more along the lines of your classic rose color which i think is absolutely gorgeous and i wear that one a lot too but again you can see that subtle sheen that they have and oh my goodness you guys i love these blushes so if you haven't tried those any of those colors and if you find a color in store or online that you like better, I think that you can't go wrong. The next product is another blush that I discovered when I did my cream blushes at the drugstore review. And this is from e.l.f. and this is their multi-stick. And I really like this one pretty much for the same reason that I like the Milani, is that during the summer, the color is very vibrant, but at the same time, it adds a sheen. These are highly saturated, you guys. So you need a very, very small amount. If you use it out of here, you're gonna wanna dab very lightly. I use Usually will either put it on a stipple brush or very very lightly use my fingers I I like a stipple brush a little bit better but you guys can see how pigmented that is and again that very very subtle sheen as it turns and even when this um, melds into the skin and kind of dries down this is still going to be very um, soft with a glow to it so I think that one is really pretty as well and they have a bunch of different colors of this one too so if you're not crazy about the rose definitely look up some of those other colors because it is that cream product that looks so good on mature skin. Now, a primer that I recently discovered from Hard Candy that I'm really enjoying is the Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer. This is a 12 hour pore refining minim and minimizes the appearance of pores. It's oil, oil, can't talk, 
oil free and silicone free and what i love about that is that it doesn't have that slip that you normally get with those silicone dimethicone primers so it doesn't have that but you still get get that pore refining look i don't know exactly what they have in here that does that but it doesn't have any oils no silicone so it's not going to clog any pores so if you're an oily skin gal but you still need that pore refining then you definitely might look into it now as i'm rubbing it right here it feels quite hydrating but it feels like it is sinking into the skin rather quickly as well and i think it's so pretty so you can kind of tell the difference between the two hands this one without this one with i just think that it's a really nice primer and i have been trying out several from hard candy and these are a really good quality so if you guys have been looking for a primer but you don't want to break the bank because you want to try a few different ones try hard candy next time you're in walmart um, i will try to put the link below as well but next time you're in walmart pick one of these up and see what you think about it now what i have been in love with for such a long time for my brows is the nyx micro brow this is a very very tiny tiny product as far as the pencil goes it has such a tiny tiny crayon there that you're going to be able to make tiny tiny strokes with it and that's what i love about it the other thing i like about it it's my perfect color this is ash brown it doesn't lean to orange it doesn't get so dark that i can't use it and you can see right there that you can build it up so you can start out very lightly and then you know build it up to where you want it to and then of course it has the spoolie on the other end i really love it because it's so easy for me to work with with my hands that shake and it's just one of those products that i go back to over and over again so i wanted to go ahead and mention that one i think i mentioned it in um, my makeup bag video as well and then another product that i've been enjoying a lot is from Rimmel. This is their scandalized on-demand mascara. This is the waterproof volume formula and I've really been liking that and it liking it and it's what I have on my eyelashes today. The wand isn't the typical hourglass wand. It just kind of is a little bit more tapered at the bottom and then it kind of fans out really big down there. Because my eyes are a little bit smaller, I have a tendency to stick to this part, but the formula is really good. So it will really build on itself and you can really get some great length out of it and some good volume out of it, obviously, because it is a volume mascara. I did try the one that isn't waterproof, the original formula, and I didn't find that I liked it as much because it flaked partway through the day and kind of smudged a little bit. But the waterproof formula I really like and it's not super hard to get off either. I just use my cleansing balm or an oil to get it off and I really like it. So been really enjoying that and it's another one that you can pick up at the drugstore and save yourself a lot of money for mascara. Another product that I've really been enjoying for a really long time but I haven't put it in one of these videos is from Wet n Wild and these are the Liquid Cat Suit, the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lip liquid lipsticks so basically these are a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss and i just think they're so pretty i do have this pink one on today and i can't see what that says i'll make sure i throw it up on the screen for you guys but i but love how juicy these are but at the same time, they're not as sticky and as thick as a regular gloss. I do have several different colors. I'll go ahead and swatch those for you. Um, they have a ton of colors, you guys. So I know that mine are pink and mauves and um, that they are ones that are a little bit more my style. But I also know that you guys definitely have your own picks as well. They have nudes and peaches and deeper colors. So definitely um, check into those when you um, look them up. There's a lot of different colors. What I like about it is it pretty much is an opaque formula. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. As far as, as it lasting a long time, it's not a see-through formula. It's very lipstick-like, but still with a lot of shine. And you know, some of the lipsticks that are coming out right now are balm lipsticks. Those I find they go away so quickly, but these don't. These stay on me and the color really stays around even after the shine is worn off. So I really do like these. And like I said, they have a ton of colors. This one right here is Rebel Rose. That came out a couple years ago in their line with all the Rebel Rose products. And it is the one on the end that has the most um, mauve in it. You or can still get that on wetandwild.com. I don't think that's sold in stores, but I do love those so much. Also this month I talked about 
about Flower Beauty and how much I love them. And I had a whole video dedicated to the products that I love from their line. But you guys, their Petal Pout lipsticks are really something that are very beautiful and next level as far as how luxurious these lipsticks feel. And many of you did say that I think it's Spiced Petal is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I am going to pick that one up and challenge myself to see if that is the oh, case. This first one that I'm going to show you is Autumn Rose and that usually tells me whether they're matte or cream. This one is a matte. Autumn Rose is a beautiful color that has such a gorgeous saturation to it. So it definitely is a rose color. We're not talking mauve. We're not talking pink. This is just that sweet spot of neutral lips that is a little bit on the deeper side. Love that color. And then this one is Dahlia Desire. I think it's Dahlia Desire. Dahlia. Yes, Dahlia Desire. This is a beautiful lipstick. This color is one that so many different people can wear. It is definitely a bright berry fuchsia, and that one is a cream product right there. Look how luxurious that bullet looks. It's just, it's so pretty. I've loved these for a really long time. I will get some, and then my daughter will steal them, or my sister steals them, and I come back to it. This is a cream one too. This is called Pink Dust dusk sorry and this one is a little bit more along the lines of being a little bit sheer because it is cream but it's such a pretty product and you guys i don't think you could go wrong if you have a specific color that you really love to wear like a nude or a light pink or anything they pretty much have the gamut of them you might have to go online to find a few extra colors but these are so good so definitely recommend those and then from essence these have got to be my all-time favorite highlighters to work with because they're so pretty on your eyes they're beautiful on your skin i am wearing the essence pure nude one all over my skin just dusted very lightly um, especially across the tops of my cheeks and you know i do kind of through the t-zone a little bit this one i did in a little tutorial that i did just very recently it's kind of a light beige color but it's such a soft beautiful just a glow on your skin without having the bright high beam. Now this next one is called Be My Space Light and it is kind of a cross between an icy color but it has a shift of pink in it and on your eyelids that is just something that is absolutely gorgeous. These are just ethereal highlighters. They're not a beaming highlighter. They're not a glowing highlighter. They're just a soft candlelight look to your face. This one as a highlighter is gorgeous. If you're wearing um, lavenders and purples on your eyes, it really does kind of tie the look together and make it look just seamless and beautiful. So those are two that I've loved for a very long time. And I saw recently that they had a quad at Ulta that I'm going to be getting very soon. So I really love those and wanted to make sure that we talked about them again, even though we've talked about them a lot on my channel, wearing these on on the eyelid doesn't show up any texture and it definitely shows up brightness and brings a lot of light to your eyes and your eyes will really pop if you wear these on the lid so really beautiful product and lastly is from la girl these are the holographic lip glosses lip toppers and i love these you guys they're so pretty these lip toppers this one is the pink one but it has like a cast of almost champagne and pink I'm sorry, almost champagne and gold there. And the other one I have definitely has that pink um, to begin with, but it also has an icy quality about it. And it also has this shift of just being just a tiny, tiny bit of purple. So it has a blue undertone to it. So you have both of these that are gorgeous. And I think they have two other colors. I think it's a peach one and then a more clear one. But those colors are so pretty and just putting them on top of any lipstick just really makes a lipstick pop. And I've loved these. They are a nice formula. They don't have chunky glitter in them. You know, sometimes you get that grit when you get this little micro sparkle stuff going on. These don't have any of that in there and they just last a long time without being too sticky, but not being too thin. So they're that really good balance right there. So I really love those. And that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy this latest installment of 10 products under $10 from 10 different brands. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any of these products or if you have any questions about any of these products. I would be happy to answer them for you. 
Hope everybody is doing really well. By the way, I can link my top. Um, and yes, I can link my earrings too and my nail polish. So I will be linking all of that for you guys. Hope everybody is having a really great day. Please take care of yourselves. Stay safe, stay sanitized, stay hydrated, stay healthy. And I love you all very much. Catch you in my next video. Bye guys.